Hello, I'm Mimi, and today I'm going to bring you along for a day in my life as a full-time digital illustrator. I like to start my day quite early, so at around 7am I'll be up and getting my desk tidied up a little bit in my studio, ready to slowly get into the day. I'm definitely a morning person and I find it really hard to actually get much done at night at all, and it's often the first few hours of the day that feel the most productive to me. My morning routine seems to change every couple of months depending on the seasons and what I'm working on and just how I'm feeling. At the moment I'm enjoying getting pretty much straight into things and having more relaxed time later. I always work on my laptop which is great because I can change up my location and the setup of my laptop. I have a Microsoft Surface Book 3 which transforms into a tablet and can be used like a laptop or like a tablet so it does everything I need. Now I finally bought myself a proper laptop stand recently, I've been using stacks of books for a stand for ages, but now I can properly adjust the height and angle of my screen, and I also bought a really cute wireless mouse and keyboard for my setup too. First things first, I always start my day with a cup of tea and some water. I've never been a big coffee drinker, tea feels way more mellow and chill to me, and that's how I like to start my day. I like to jot down my daily tasks on a little to-do list that I write each day. I just put on it the things I need to do that day and then I also have a Google Calendar that I use to plan bigger tasks and deadlines. There's just something quite satisfying about being able to physically cross something off a list when you've done it. So I spend a little bit of time first thing checking my emails and flagging any that I need to respond to later answering any important messages, doing a bit of admin, looking at how recent posts or videos are performing, or answering comments on any of my social platforms that I haven't responded to in a little while. I kind of alternate which platforms I respond to comments on, I don't do all of them on one day, so I'll answer some YouTube comments today, Instagram another day, and hang out with my Discord community another day. I realized a little while ago that it was no longer sustainable for me to be able to answer every single comment and message that I receive, which took me a while to accept because I hate the idea of someone reaching out to me and not getting a response, but ultimately I can't spend all day answering comments. I do really like interacting with my community though, so it's nice to spend 20 minutes or so answering questions and chatting in the comments in the morning. After I've been up for about an hour, it's time for breakfast, which is usually peanut butter on toast with banana, or sometimes cereal or eggs. Sometimes I sit at the table and watch the birds outside for a little while, but today I'm going to eat at my desk and get started on my tasks for the day because I have lots of drawing to do later. So I need to make some phone wallpapers for Patreon because it's the start of the month and I like to release the wallpapers in the first few days of the new month. The available wallpapers change every month and I just pick out a couple of illustrations I've drawn recently to make the new wallpapers with. They're really simple to make, some of my drawings fit really well as wallpapers without too much work from me, but some of them are less obvious and take a bit of fiddling to get them to look cute. It's a small easy task and I like to ease into my day with easy jobs like this when I can. So with my two new phone wallpapers made, I write a little post on Patreon about them, make sure they're attached, which I almost forgot to do, and then I publish them to all my patrons who then receive an email with the post I wrote and the wallpapers attached. So that's a piece of content done already, it's about 9 o'clock now and it's time for my first little break, so I'll go and get dressed, brush my teeth, and get ready as if I were going out of the house, even though I won't be. I find it helps me feel productive and like I'm at a normal job, although every couple of weeks I will just spend all day in my pyjamas because I can and it feels indulgent. So I've done the wallpapers and sent an important email that was on my list, now I can get stuck into the big task of the day which is illustrating for my next picture book. To get ready for drawing I need to change my laptop setup which is way easier now that I have a laptop stand. I have my laptop in tablet mode and angled toward me and then I bring my keyboard over to the left of my screen and keep my mouse on the right. The main reason I bought this keyboard was because it's nice and small and I can have it next to my screen while I draw without having to reach very far. 
I draw in Adobe Photoshop most of the time, especially for picture books, so having access to keyboard shortcuts is pretty essential to my workflow. Now I of course can't show you much of what I'm drawing because it's for an upcoming book that's still a secret, but it's a fun one to illustrate and although I have quite a bit to do, I just try and take it one page at a time. Even on days that I'm doing a lot of illustrating, I'll very rarely spend a full 8 hour day drawing. I think it would be a bit too much for my body. On illustration days, I probably spend more like 5 hours drawing and maybe a little bit more if I also want to do some personal drawing like I think I'll do later. I like to put on some music or a podcast or an audiobook and just slowly chip away at the illustrations that need to be done. Audiobooks especially really help me to focus and it doesn't distract me from drawing because I guess it just uses a totally different part of my brain to listen than it does to draw. My library allows me to borrow audiobooks online which is really great for listening for free, but this month I've treated myself to a month of Audible since I have quite a bit of drawing to do and I just recently found out that Audible Plus lets you stream loads of audiobooks while you're subscribed, similar to a Netflix model. Podcasts are also really good if you can find a great series to binge while you're drawing. I feel super lucky to be able to call this my job and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to illustrate picture books from the comfort and quiet of my home. It's quite nice to sit down with nowhere else to be and nobody needing your attention to just sit and draw for a few hours on a project. Now after a little while it's time for another cup of tea because it's quite a cold and windy day and I like to get up and take a mini break every 30 minutes to an hour. If it were a sunny day, I might go and sit in the sun or spend five minutes outside, but on a day like this, I'm quite happy to stay inside and watch the birds in the garden. I do another session of drawing for about an hour. I've already done all of the draft sketches for these pages that I'm illustrating, so I'm just going through and adding the first pass of colour today. At midday it's time for lunch and I usually take about an hour to make something, eat, relax for a bit and hang out with Dan. Because it's early in the week I want to cook some lunch to have for a few days so I'm cooking some vegetables and chicken to have some simple fajitas. I really enjoy cooking most of the time but if I'm tired then I'll just have something easy and not always so healthy so having at least some of the meals prepared for the week helps me loads. Some of you asked how I balance chores with my work and the good thing about working from home is that I can do little bits and pieces here and there as they're needed. Like doing some meal prep today which means I'll have more time the next couple of days that I won't spend cooking and can do other chores instead. I try and keep on top of things during the week by generally doing a little bit of tidying and then do bigger chores on the weekend. Plus I have Dan at home too and he helps a lot. I love to eat and having good food has a really positive impact on my mood and puts me in a better position to create and have a productive day. I don't think I've ever drawn anything good when I've been hungry. So at 1 o'clock it's back to work and of course I have some more drawing to do. I'd like to spend 2 or 3 more hours on the picture book and then do an illustration idea that I've had in my head that I want to just draw for fun. What helps me focus and get motivated for drawing varies quite a bit and I just rotate through a few things that I know help me at different times. I already mentioned audiobooks and music and they're the most likely thing to help because it gives my brain something to do. I can vary what kind of things I listen to, sometimes I want to listen to calm music or something upbeat, sometimes an exciting audiobook will satisfy me or sometimes I just want something really familiar and easy like Harry Potter. If I'm really finding it hard to focus, I use the Pomodoro method, which is where you spend 25 minutes working on a task and then you have 5 minutes off. That way when I get distracted and want to look something up on the internet or get another cup of tea, I know I can just wait a little bit until my 5 minute break to do those things and I end up being less distracted. At the moment though, I'm quite keen to work on this picture book project so it's not too hard for me to get into it. And that helps a lot as well, is having creative tasks that you're excited for. It's a bit chilly today and by mid-afternoon I'm really craving a hot chocolate so I decide to make myself a very frothy one. I add a few chocolate chips and marshmallows on top with some chocolate powder too. 
It's the perfect excuse for a short break as well because there's no point in making such a nice hot chocolate and not spending a few minutes enjoying it properly. I do a bit more drawing since that's the main task for today. I probably spent about five hours working on the picture book today, which is nice progress. It's a lot of sitting down though and a lot of work for my arms and wrists. So as well as getting up for a drink or something every once in a while, I also do some simple stretches at my desk about every half hour. Once I've finished my work on the picture book for the day, I do a longer session of stretching and make sure I give my eyes a chance to look at something far away because they've been staring at a close screen most of the day. I know I want to do some more drawing still, so it's pretty important to give my body a little break. If it were a nicer day, I might go for a walk or sometimes I do a yoga video from YouTube, but today I'll just do some stretches at the window. Now I want to do a really casual fun drawing that I was thinking about yesterday and since I started the work day early I don't feel pressured to do any proper work after 4pm if I feel like doing something else. I've moved my dining table over to be just behind the couch so I can sit and draw in a decent position at the table but still be able to see the TV which is a win-win and I really like that I can do that in this house. I don't usually watch TV in the background if I need to be more focused and productive like for the picture book because depending on the show it can be a teeny bit too distracting but for casual drawing it's perfect. I'm watching Lux listing Sydney which is pretty much the Australian version of Selling Sunset and I really like seeing all the beautiful houses on the waterfront. I've been really into drawing happy flowers lately, they're just bringing me a lot of joy and I'm really motivated to sit and draw them. Plus they're super simple and probably only take about an hour or so to draw. Now I keep meaning to take behind the scenes or work in progress photos of my art to post to Instagram stories and I just keep forgetting lately because I get carried away drawing so today I finally remembered and posted to Instagram stories. This illustration will go on Instagram as a post, which is where pretty much all of my illustrations go that aren't for a picture book or a commission. Instagram is great for acting as a portfolio of my work and it's where I get a lot of my paid jobs from. So I try to keep it fresh and post one to three times a week on average at the moment. Being able to draw quite quick and fun things like this flower makes it easier to post consistently because I really enjoy what I'm drawing and I want to do it. But I know if my art were more detailed and took longer to draw, then I wouldn't be posting as often and I think that's fine too. So that's about it for my day in my life as an illustrator right now and it's probably not super surprising that I spent a lot of time illustrating. Although when I don't have a book to illustrate, I would spend more time scripting or making content. I'll now schedule my flower illustration to automatically post later in the evening, have some dinner and relax. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye.